Forget sci-fi. Elon Musk's Neuralink brain chip is real and about reprogramming humanity. Today, we'll dive into the unsettling world of Neuralink, a technology that may soon change the very notion of what it means to be human. Elon Musk's chip has already been implanted in the first volunteers, and the boundary between our brain and computer is being erased forever. You'll see how paralyzed patients control robots with the power of thought, how the blind see again, and why this development may be the last great invention we create as purely biological beings. Ready to merge with the machine? Because you may not have a choice. Imagine being able to control a computer with just the power of thought. This isn't science fiction, this is Neuralink. When Elon Musk founded this company in 2016, most people thought it was just another billionaire's crazy idea. But today, it's reality. The heart of the technology is the Link device, the size of a coin, which is implanted directly into your skull, replacing a small area of bone. Inside is a super powerful chip, a miniature battery, and a Bluetooth transmitter. And most importantly, incredibly thin threads emerge from it, thinner than a human hair. These threads are a true engineering marvel. They contain thousands of electrodes that interweave directly into your brain. They can both read neural signals and send them back. A two-way bridge between your brain and the digital world. Previous interfaces had only dozens of electrodes and bulky external equipment. Neuralink has thousands of contacts and is completely invisible under the skin. The device is implanted by a robotic surgeon with precision unattainable for human hands. It bypasses blood vessels and inserts threads so delicately that the brain barely notices the intrusion. From operation to full recovery takes just a few days, and you're ready for life with enhanced capabilities. Remember the moment when humanity first went into space? Well, 2021 became a similar breakthrough, but not into the outer world, rather into the inner world of the human brain. In April of that year, the world held its breath when a monkey named Pager played the video game Pong without a joystick, without hands, by the power of thought alone. The Neuralink in its brain read neural signals when it simply thought about moving the virtual paddle. It looked like magic, but it was actually science in action. And by 2023, the first human volunteers received chips. Among them was 29-year-old Nolan Arbaugh, paralyzed after an accident. A month after implementation, he controlled a cursor on the screen simply by imagining movements. Over time, he was able to play computer games and even communicate faster than healthy people can type. With each version of the device, the number of electrodes increased from hundreds to thousands, and the data transfer speed increased tenfold. Wireless technology replaced wired connections, and the device became fully implanted. The scientific community is divided. Some call it the greatest breakthrough in neuroscience of the century. Others fear we're moving in a dangerous direction. But everyone agrees, the world will never be the same again. I can feel my body again. These words from a paralyzed patient make you wonder, what if the greatest medical breakthroughs of the century aren't happening in drug laboratories, but in computer chips? Neuralink already allows people with paralyzed limbs to control robotic prosthesis with a simple thought. Imagine, you need to grab a cup of coffee. You think about it, and your mechanical arm executes the command as naturally as if it had always been a part of you. But this is just the beginning. Trials are currently underway to restore sight to the blind. The chip receives signals from a camera and transmits them directly to the visual cortex of the brain, literally creating images in a person's head. The same applies to hearing. Sound waves are converted into electrical impulses that the brain recognizes as sounds. The most ambitious Neuralink projects target Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases. Electrodes can stimulate specific areas of the brain, compensating for damaged neural connections. And perhaps the most unexpected turn using chips to treat depression and anxiety. Imagine a world where severe mental disorders can be turned off with the press of a button in an app on your phone. Sounds like a miracle, doesn't it? Or like the beginning of something that will change the very concept of human suffering forever. What if I told you that learning a new language overnight or acquiring a new profession in a week is our near future? Elon Musk makes no secret of it. Neuralink was created not only to cure diseases, but to transform ordinary people into something more. Early experiments have already demonstrated the possibility of primitive telepathy. Two people with implants can exchange thoughts directly without words. Imagine a conversation where you don't search for the right words, you simply share pure ideas. The real breakthrough will be what Musk calls neural network downloading, 
when knowledge and skills can be downloaded directly into your brain, like in the matrix. Want to play the piano? Download Mozart's skills. Need to learn quantum physics? It's a matter of minutes, not years. Enhanced memory will mean an end to forgotten names, dates, and events. Your brain will be synchronized with cloud storage, and merging with AI will potentially increase your IQ to levels we can't even imagine now. But the price of this evolution? Will you still be yourself when your thoughts, memories, and skills can be uploaded, deleted, or changed at the press of a button? Now imagine that your most private thoughts, fantasies, and memories can be hacked like an ordinary email password. Seems impossible? With Neuralink, this becomes a real threat. When your brain is connected to the network, the question arises, who has access to your thoughts? Does your consciousness truly belong only to you? Companies can collect neural data, just as they now collect your clicks and likes. But this time, they'll know you better than you know yourself. Hackers of the future will break into not computers, but human brains. Imagine a virus that can change your memories or suggest thoughts you never had. This isn't science fiction. It's the logical consequence of Neuralink technology. But the biggest threat is social division. The world will split into enhanced and ordinary people. Those who can afford cognitive implants will gain an incredible advantage in education, career, and even everyday life. And what will happen to human identity? If your memories can be edited and skills downloaded, where does the real you end and technology begin? Will you remain human when half of your thoughts are generated by artificial intelligence? The question isn't whether we're ready for Neuralink. The question is whether Neuralink is ready for us. The clock is ticking. Elon Musk states directly, either we merge with AI or we become obsolete like Neanderthals next to modern humans. Neuralink's roadmap is ambitious. By 2030, mass commercial implementation of chips with millions of electrodes is planned. The price will gradually decrease from half a million to a few thousand dollars. The implementation procedure will become as quick as laser eye correction. Competitors aren't sleeping. Synchron is already testing its stent, which is inserted through blood vessels without skull trepanation. Meta and Google are developing their neural interfaces. China has invested billions in its own technologies turning neural interfaces into a new arena of geopolitical confrontation. But Musk insists this isn't just a technological race. It's a question of human survival. Artificial intelligence is developing faster than we can control. The only way not to become pets of superintelligence is to become part of it. The question isn't will we become cyborgs. The question is when. So we stand on the threshold of an era where the very definition of human may change forever. Neuralink is not just technology. It's a choice between remaining limited by our biology or evolving into something new. Treating paralysis and brain diseases is just the first step. Telepathy, superhuman intelligence, and direct access to all human knowledge are next. But the price? Our thoughts will become data. Our consciousness, a target for hackers. Our identity, a subject of debate. Are you ready to give part of your brain to a machine to gain superhuman abilities? Do you agree to become the first generation of a new species if the alternative is to remain an outdated version of humanity in a world of superintelligence? Write in the comments, would you agree to Neuralink implementation? And subscribe to the channel. We'll tell you about technologies that will change us before most people even know they exist. And the scariest question? What if you simply don't have a choice?